turning over the piece of paper to making sure you're on the blank side. And we're going to fold the bottom corner to the top corner, folding it in half, so it should end up like a triangle. After that, we're going to take the top corner and fold it down to meet the bottom piece of the paper. This will give us an indication of where the half line is, so we'll just make two small creases on the sides. Now we'll put the bottom part of the triangle going to fold it up to the half line, to the creases we just made. Alright, once we've done that, we're going to unfold everything. And now we're given some lines. So with the left side of the corner, bring that corner in, making sure you don't pass the two horizontal lines. Now we want to bring the top corner, the bottom corner, and bring it to the top and it shouldn't pass the small triangle you made on the left side. Now we're gonna make two more creases for the borders. Just fold it and then line it with the triangle. Try and make it as straight as you can. And then we're gonna unfold both of them. Alrighty, just making sure it's all straight. Now what we wanna do, we wanna Make sure we want to make a horizontal crease with the top corner, bringing it down. To help you with this, you can look at the small creases we've made before and it should align with the bottom triangle. So once we've made that crease, we want to bring the triangle point in the middle, below the last line. So it should just be below it and then refold the top line, top corner back down. Now we're gonna turn the piece of paper backwards, turn it over, and then following the creases, fold, folding them backwards. So just following the crease, folding it back, and it should look something like this. Now we wanna fold, following the crease again, we wanna fold the, the right side inside, like so, and we'll do the same with the left side, throwing the crease, and now we'll unfold that, only that side. Now when we turn it over, we'll unfold the entire right side. Now what we want to do, we want to make a middle crease with the top triangle, so we're going to fold it backwards, following the crease that starts from the bottom. Now we want to do from the bottom to the top end corner, we want to make a diagonal fold. Once that's been done, these are going to help us with the next step, which is quite tricky. So just try and... So while you're pulling back, following the corner of the diagonal crease you made, just folding it backwards, kind of push down on the top triangle green part and then that will kind of it's kind of finicky and then your main goal is trying to fold it behind the hat so like so now with the front we want to fold the top triangle upwards in half and then we're just going to roll the bottom triangle back up this will create the rim of his hat. Now that we've done that, we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold the small corner we just made from before. We're going to fold it down to form the bag shape. So feel free to change it how you want, to how big or how small you want Sanders' um, bag to be, but that's around it. And this is how you make an origami Santa Claus. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.